Next up, I'm going to show you how to use a website called Datashine. Uh, Datashine is a piece of mapping software that brings some of the UK's 2011 census data uh, to life. So, uh, if you Google search for Datashine, uh, it should be right at the top. And Datashine opens up a wonderful looking map like this. I'm uh, just going to zoom out so we're in Cambridge, so uh, we have a feel of where we are. Right, so, let's zoom out a little bit more, there we go, perfect. Right, you can see Cambridge, uh, just scrolling on my mouse to zoom in and out here. Right, so uh, what Datashine is currently showing us is the data from the 2011 census, and uh, it shows a whole range of different things. So at the moment, if you look in the data shoes up the top, uh, we're looking at houses, we're looking at the number of bedrooms, and we're looking at the num we're looking at the properties with five or more bedrooms. So if I look at the key now over here on the left, I can see that the different colours on here um, represent what percentage of houses in that particular region have five or more bedrooms. So for example, if I go uh, out to the east and I go into Cherry Hinton and I hover my mouse over a road in Cherry Hinton, um, you can see that the data comes up as 0%. None of the houses in that region have five or more bedrooms. Uh, on those streets, but in some of the areas that are much um, darker red, so if I go down uh, and I have a look at Hills Road for example, um, if I hover my mouse over one of the streets off Hills Road, we'll see that this time 29% of the uh, houses on this particular part of town have five or more bedrooms in them. Um, so you can do loads of stuff with this, with this website, so uh, let's think about uh, the data to start with. Uh, if you click on the different boxes along the top, you can get a whole series of different bits of data uh, and then just use the drop downs and you can see quite how much data there is obviously uh, coming out of the of the census um, and just have a rummage around uh, to see what kind of things. Let's have a look. Household type is uh, households with just one person in the household. Um, let's have a look. Multi-person households. Um, etc etc so uh, you can play with these to your heart's content uh, let's have a look travel to work method of travel to work here's the number of people who managed to travel to work on foot um, high density ground uh, here down by Adambrooks because lots of the uh, nurses and people have managed to get some accommodation on site for example um, Cambridge I imagine will be pretty high up if we find bicycle uh, and you'll see crikey um, the kind of percentages of people in Cambridge who <laughs> cycle in uh, to their place of work are uh, incredibly high when we think about sort of national scale of what's going on right in the city centre perhaps some of the colleges people still walking but pretty much everywhere else in uh, in Cambridge really high up on, on those. Uh, so what can we do once we've decided what we want to view? Um, well all, all kinds of things so I'm going to just leave it on this piece of data here which is qualifications gained uh, and looking for the percentage of people uh, who have degrees or higher degrees in those particular regions uh, and I've got at the moment a sort of yellow to red colour scheme on the go um, and depending on what you want to to do and you want, what you want to do with these uh, we've got different colours that you can click on the bottom so if you click on any of the uh, colours on here it changes to um, some kind of green to red, uh, a good to bad, which may be suitable for some things, sometimes a single colour uh, going up, and have a think about what might work best for whatever you're looking at. Um, there's some other things to, to toggle around uh, on here. One of them, uh, the houses button, gets rid of all the data where the houses are, and you can just see the patterns slightly more easily sometimes. Uh, and, and here's Cambridge without any houses, and then the roads disappearing. Um, I'm not a fan of that, I think mean, that's better uh, like that. Um, you can get rid of the labels and things on the roads if you want to, um, for example, with the buttons down the bottom. Um, and importantly, this button down here, Get Your PDF Map. So if you click on the Get the PDF Map, it will download a version for you. Probably in about four days, knowing my computer. Here we go, opens up the PDF. And Voila! You get yourself a really beautiful map um, that looks really professionally done, scale down the side, 
uh, census data in the middle, etc., etc. You can do that on a series of different scales depending on how close you're zoomed into your uh, location, etc. And again, uh, save the PDF. You could open it up in um, some software and convert it to a JPEG or just print screen uh, and dump it into a project perhaps that you were using. If you wanted any of the actual data, if you click on collect date, get data on here, uh, this will bring you out a whole series of the data that's behind here um, into Excel format um, and you can actually rummage through and find the exact bits of data if you want for individual wards for example if you were comparing wards um, as part of your project um, and, and have a look and a rummage with those if they suit. Uh, right.